something I love about Florida. It's always sunny. One thing I hate about Florida, that sun doesn't mean anything in the winter time. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be talking about gear. So, typically what I take on, you know, just a regular photo shoot or if I'm just gonna go out and take some pictures, it's, I usually like to go light. I know a lot of creators like to take like bags and bags and stuff and like I just it, I don't I don't see me using everything that I'm gonna show you guys today on a daily basis at least for now so typically what I take on a shoot is like this is the Nikon D850 with the 24 to 120 mil uh, point uh, f4 I think yeah, F4. Uh, I recently just got this handle like you guys saw in the beginning of the video. It's definitely going to help me uh, carry it a lot better. I'll link the description below. Uh, I don't usually take the D40 with me, but if I'm doing uh, like a, an event or something like that, I usually like to take a secondary just in case. Uh, my other lenses that I don't really use anymore <laughs> is uh, this is the the micro uh, 40 millimeter uh, 2.8 this is the kit lens uh, 18 to 55 and <laughs> I only ever use this once uh, I, I once I got it out of the box I just wanted to use it right away I got a cool moonshot one night and uh that's honestly all i used it for it was like i think it was like 50 bucks on amazon and i was trying to find like a good cheap lens cheap or good <laughs> it was like i don't know it, it's a manual lens it's, it sucks <laughs> the GoPro you guys saw in uh, the I think it was the first no it was yeah it was the first video with the point of view I'm, I'm just ordered a new uh, chest mount that actually moves with you instead of having it stationary it, it was the that was the big problem in the video it was like you see how every bounce that I took <laughs> It was really bad. Uh, on to other things that I take on with me on a shoot, uh, depending on where I am. Uh, I have I just got the uh, DJI Mavic Mini. It's actually really fun. Like uh, this is my first drone, so I never actually flown a drone before, and it's very intuitive. If you're um, these are made for enthusiasts, like if you just wanna fly for fun. Uh, I've used it in my New Year's video, and I, uh, it's pretty good with with uh, video quality. Um, it, 
sometimes you'll see like a little jitter and it's, it's not that bad, but it's, let me take it out. So this is the, this is the mini. It's very lightweight. It's 249 grams, which that means you won't have to register any with the FAA. Comes with, uh, if you get the Fly More pack, it comes with three batteries. I have the one battery in here. Uh, this is the controller. One thing I like about the controller is the, uh, the joysticks actually tuck in. So you see like you flip, you flip this out. This is where you, uh, this is where you put the, uh, your phone. So you can look at what you're, uh, what you're flying. Uh, this is the joy, the joystick and you just put it right Put it right in here, and it just tucks away. If I can get in here, and it snaps in. It's right there, and then you just tuck it away into the case. So onto lighting. The lighting that I use, uh, obviously a flash, which is in my car. I'll link the description of the flash if you guys want. Uh, the light I use is, uh, I forget what this is called actually. I'm gonna have to look, I'll, I'll put the name of the, of the light up down here. Uh, I use this when, uh, whenever I'm in a low light situation and I need a constant light other than a flash. It's, uh, it's actually really bright. I put a little diffuser on here. Uh, it's just wax paper. Uh, I put a little diffuser just so it's not too uh, not too bright. Uh, the light that I'm currently using right now, it's a light by Loftech. It's it's a very bright light. This bag right here is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 350AW. It's uh, it's a very roomy bag. Right now, the way I have it set up is uh, I have my my drone in this pocket, and then I stick my camera with with the lens right here, and just a couple of pockets for uh, wires, uh, extra batteries. Right here, I keep all the the dongles, uh, you know, because Apple. A uh, couple other accessories I take with me is this uh, this car mount that I put on the windshield. I use this for cleaning the sensor off the camera. Uh, a couple of pouches for uh, my for my ND filters. Close this. What do you? No, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is my Loom Cube. I use it uh, for like light painting and stuff like that. Uh, a couple, a couple months ago in the summertime, I did a little photo shoot, and my friend wrote his name. Uh, with with the light, I used a long shutter, uh, long shutter, and it turned out pretty well. It was it was kind of a little jittery, but not too bad. And then we have a uh, battery pack. This actually uh, helps with a number of things. Uh, obviously, battery life. And uh, for the Nikon D850, if you have a battery pack, it actually increases your. Uh, your frame rates so if you want to do like a burst of like a car moving by you can actually increase the number of shots you take and then we have an intervalometer I uh, don't really use this much but it's nice to have in the bag just in case you need it this is the uh, the pixel TW 283TX wireless wireless remote control <laughs> By Pixel Pro. Did I mention that already? Probably did. So boys, 
and girls, if you're watching, you're probably wondering how I am recording this video. As you can see, I have my camera right here, my backup, and I have my GoPro. So you're probably wondering how I'm shooting this video. I'm shooting this on my phone in 4K, all right? I'm trying to prove a point that you don't need fancy equipment to be a good creator, to be a good photographer, videographer, whatever you want to do with your life. Let me tell you, most phones nowadays, they're pretty good at taking photos and video. This is the, the 8 Plus, uh, iPhone 8 Plus. The Google Pixel, um, I think Samsung has a really good uh, phone for for videos. The Google Pixel, like I mentioned, has a night mode for photos. Their photos nowadays are taking over, and honestly, <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> like it, honestly, if if you wanted to make a movie, like. Uh, If you wanted to make a movie you know, with an iPhone 11, let's say, you probably could. <laughs> like, if an i if an eight plus has 4K and it looks probably good, I don't know until I upload this video. It the iPhone 8 plus or iPhone the iPhone 11 will probably look even better, like probably 100 times better than what I have right now. So if you want to create anything, just go out and do it, bro. Sis, <laughs> just just go, just do it, just just do it. Bring up Justin Timberlake, <laughs> or not Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Bring up Shia LaBeouf. I really like this handle because it looks like a mohawk. I could palm this camera almost with my hand. I need my own studio. Say cheese. <laughs> you ever just sit and wonder like, 